Hello and welcome to my kitchen. We have a fabulous meal ready to get cooked up. We're going to be going over some steak fajita tacos. Now stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. So we're going to take flat meat and we're going to marinate it authentically how we do over here in California. And we're going to sprinkle it with approximately about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm sprinkling a little here and there and I'm going to be massaging it into the meat. Then we're going to take some lemon. We're going to squeeze one whole lemon onto that meat and then do the same and massage it in. Now the rub that I'm using for this is a garlic powder, ground oregano, a little bit of cumin. It has uh, some chili powder in there. I'm going to leave the recipe for the rub in the description. Once you marinate, go ahead and let that sit for about 30 minutes to an hour. For the next portion of this dish, we're going to be slicing some onions. I want to say about half an inch thick. And after slicing them, you want to break them apart. That way they're individuals. And then we're going to do the same thing for our bell peppers. We're going to cut it in about four portions and then we're going to make slices. For our tomatoes, we're going to cut slices horizontally. Then we're going to take each slice and then slice those in four. So for this dish, I'm going to be using one cast iron skillet and one cast iron griddle with the grill marks. Now on my stove, I set this to medium heat and I do not get any burnings, but I would test your stove out to make sure that you don't overcook or burn your meat. So since I have my stove at a lower temperature, I cook this between about three and a half minutes to four minutes per side. So please adjust accordingly depending on how hot your stove gets. Mine kind of gets a little hot, so that's why I cook it so fast. So go ahead and take your prepared vegetables and place them in your cast iron skillet. And you want to go ahead and give a sprinkle of that rub that I had suggested earlier on what to make. If you don't want to make this rub, go ahead and use your favorite taco seasoning for this dish. So from here, let the meat and the vegetables do their thing. Like I said, the meat's going to take about three and a half to four minutes to cook. The vegetables you want to cook down to where they're nice and soft but where the onions are translucent. That's when you know they're done. Go ahead and give your meat a flip and let them cook for another three and a half minutes to four minutes, depending on how hot you have your cast iron griddle. So for this dish, I like to cook the vegetables almost done. I like that crunch. So don't overcook because you still want the crunch from the onions and the bell pepper. So once you have your meat done, go ahead and slice them up. That way you can get them ready for the tacos. That meat sure does look delicious. Now go ahead and take a corn tortilla or a flour tortilla is fine. Whatever tortilla you want. Go ahead and lay down some, some of that meat that it, you just made. And then go ahead and top it with those sauteed veggies that you just did. Go ahead and give a squeeze of lemon. Top it with some cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese or your favorite cheese, whatever one you like. And then top it with some good old salsa. Once you put everything together, it's just heaven. That way when you bite into it, you got juicy, you got saucy, you got crunchy, and then you got chewy from all that meat. Well, that's it for today, folks. If you like what you've seen today, go ahead and hit that like button. Comment and let me know what you think or if you have any questions. 
And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and put the bell on there. That way you can see my future videos. Y'all take care folks.